I feel like when I when I think about the game, I mean, I feel like we had it under fairly good control, and uh, it's just disappointing that we, you know, conceded two goals off set pieces. I mean. Tactically, I think we kept to our game plan for the most part. Maybe we dropped a little bit, but you know, when you look at the second goal, it was an unbelievable strike. It's just we just got to be cleaner on set piece defending. For you personally, how, how are you fitting into the team so far? I mean, it's only the second of the game that y'all been here for. I mean, how, how's it been going out there on the field and the communications and everything? Do you look at the team? Yeah, I mean, I, I think for myself. You know, just coming in and trying to do my job on a night like tonight, not trying to overcomplicate things, keeping it simple, communicating with Javi. I feel like it was okay. It's just bitterly disappointing to go out, you know, as early as we did in the competition because I think all of us at the club had uh, pretty big ambitions for this uh, competition. Can you talk about the chemistry building with Javier? Was it difficult um, to play a part in tonight's outcome? No, I mean, I, we played together against Sacramento and uh, maybe one other preseason match, and I, I, I feel like it's no, been nothing but positive. And, um, you know, tonight, again, I, I felt like we were in, a, in control for long portions of the game. And when you look at the two goals that we conceded, it, you know, a little bit more mentality maybe, a little bit more desire, and, and, and we cut those out. But from a tactical and communication standpoint, I think it was okay. I think it was. It's just really bitterly disappointing that we that we uh, can see two goals like that and go out. What was the reaction in the locker room after the game with the players and themselves? Yeah, I mean, I think <laughs> everyone's obviously really disappointed. You know, like I was saying, I think everyone at the club had, uh, you know, thoughts of us going making a deep run in this competition, and now we have to kind of pick ourselves up and, and make a real go at, at starting the season really strong because uh, that's where we have to put all our energy now and I felt like um, just in that locker room obviously we're, we're all just really disappointed with the way tonight turned out. How different is it knowing that you know, in two days you have another game, another big one there, the MLS opener and stuff? Like, how hard is it to kind of bounce back from this to get ready for Chicago? I don't think it's very difficult in the sense of you, you know the atmosphere is going to be unbelievable like it was tonight. I mean, any game in a, in a place like this, in an atmosphere like this, is uh, it's a pretty big blessing to be a part of. And you, you got to just embrace that and, and know that the energy is going to be there. So for us, I, I, I think we owe it to the, to the fans and to the club to, to you know bring our A game. Obviously, I think there's a lot of stuff that we need to look at, take a look at what kind of went wrong tonight analyze that, but once we do that, it's kind of on to the next game. When did you first know you were going to start tonight? Uh, I, I suppose yesterday, yeah. <laughs> uh, on the late match equalizer, is that just kind of a tip of the cap, or is it you guys just didn't close down, or too much space, or what did you see? Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm basing this off my memory of it in live action. I haven't seen it back, but... I think we did a good job winning the initial ball in, and uh, I mean, at the end of the day, the guy hit an unbelievable shot. Uh, probably the goal of his life, honestly. But that happens when you don't close guys down, you know. And so I think, um, yeah, we just have to look at it, look at it back. I mean, like I said, I mean, number 19 was an absolute handful. So when the balls were coming into the box, you know, I think we did a good job dealing with the first one, but. The second phase. I mean, we always talk about second phase defending, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, two two set pieces and two goals.